What's up, everybody? Welcome in to The Early Edge. I'm your host, Alan Bell. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you today. But I'll tell you what, before we get to all of that, let's take a look at how we did on Friday here. You know what? Not bad. I think that's what? Uh, four, six, six, and five? Is that right? Yeah. Look at Sia taking down Buckets there in the golf challenge. I love Buckets betting on sports, and he has no idea what's going on. At first, I think he thought it was baseball, so that's my favorite Buckets of all time. Uh, Zach Attack coming through with the Air Force plus 12 and a half. That'd have been a great game last night. And then the speculator getting right there with the Warriors in five. All right, a couple of housekeeping nuggets here that we have really quickly. Sunday, all right, 2 p.m. Eastern. We are going live, breaking down the NFC Championship with the 49ers at the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll also be live at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, breaking down the AFC Championship with the Bengals and the Chiefs. And then, obviously, Sunday will be live, normal time, 10 a.m. Eastern, with our normal morning early edge show. So just so everybody knows, we'll be live three times on Sunday, getting things right. But you know what? That's enough about the past and the future. Let's talk about right now. Let's bring in the stars of the show and get this thing going right. My guys, look at Sharp. M squared, you look at even more Sharp. As always, this morning. How are we doing, sir? Good morning, AB. Good morning, everybody. Bringing the donkey out today. No, we do not have a donkey parlay, at least not yet. Uh, but we don't have a camera working in the uh, in the studio here this morning. So you get to look at this beautiful donkey with a sports line shirt on. Uh, you know what? I love it. I'll tell you what. In the chat, we've got some folks here that might not know. Look, we absolutely do have a coach jacket on. And let me show you a surprise with it real quick. Look. Got our man on the front of it. Coach looking sharp. So there we go. Coach has his own starter jacket rolling. Micah Roberts, how we doing, sir? Doing great. Everybody's looking great. Uh, Eric and uh, Bob, you, Mike looks especially good. And just let's tear it up today. Let's have a great day, guys. Dude, absolutely, man. Today is going to be a fantastic day. We've got all kinds of sports going on this weekend. And we're going to hit on those here in just a second. But again, we continue here. My man. Berg bets. Bobby Locks. Looking sharp, sir. How we doing? Good morning, guys. Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, great day of college basketball. 145 plus games. SEC Big 12 Challenge. Um, I was unfortunately on Air Force last night as well. Got a little sweaty towards the end, but um, Air Force is scrappy. So um, yeah, might might be. Dude, they are to... like they absolutely are. Like that was a heck of a game. Um, that was fun to watch. There for a minute, you thought Air Force was going to win outright. And also, I have to say one thing, Micah, my man, you all week in the chat have been getting super praise on oh, your yeah. college basketball play. Oh, dude, you've been crushing yeah. it on Sportsline.com. I wanted to make sure and point that out because somebody again, yeah, right here, Micah Roberts been killing the overs, dude. Yeah. Tip of the cap, my man. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank you. It's just a nice little uh, run. Just follow the same patterns. I, I've actually been uh, cognizant of it over like the last 10 days. And I've just uh, I've done the same thing, man. I'm doing like Wade Boggs with the chicken in the morning and everything like just same routine every day. And so far, so good. Dude, I love it, man. I love it. All right. Last and certainly not least, my man, EC. Got to give you some praise, too, bro. These parlays you've been putting together, man. They are cooking, son. How are we doing? Yeah, yeah, good, A.B. Good to be here. Uh, we had a pretty good run there at the end of the week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, hit four money line parlays in a row in college basketball. We'll be giving out a four pick uh, later in the show today. Nice, man. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get into the storylines that affect the betting lines for today. All right, Micah, coming over to you first. Memphis, the Grizzlies. What's going on here, dude? They're what? They've lost seven straight since Shannon Sharp yelled at Jaws dad? What's going on over there? Well, here's the deal. This was a team I had high expectations for, and I've been waiting for them to come around and, and hit this role. They, they're this team, like last year, uh, that just wipe you out in one quarter, and the game's over. They win by 20. Wipe you out one quarter. They block shots, led the, the, the NBA block shots, rebounding, and steals. That's a, a money ball-playing team you could count on every night to do this wipeout in this quarter. And I've been waiting for it, and then they hit this 11-game win streak, and I'm like, oh, here it is. Here we go. We're getting ready to go, Grizzlies. Going to get some easy money here, and we're going to just follow the streak. 11 games in a row they won. They were incredible. I think they covered eight of them, um, seven of them, big numbers. But still, you saw that they were winning. It was there. This team is ready to go. This team may be good enough to make the NBA Finals. Then 
they hit this five game road trip and just completely melt down. They just look like nothing. I mean, it looks they look worse than the Timberwolves. They look worse than the Rockets. They have no flow. They have no style. They have nothing going for them. It's like, was Morant playing? Yeah, he's playing. Is Bay? Yep, yeah, Bay's playing. Jackson playing. Everybody's playing. There's no excuses for this. And 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 I can't believe I, I don't know what's going on. There's something internally or something, but they don't have any flow going. And it's a team um, I like watching. They're they're fu- real fun team play high grade level of basketball and uh they played together well last year this year it's just a, there's nothing so i don't have an answer for it i'm just complaining about them losing when they <laughs> play. i mean i mean come on this close out the road trip and they lose badly to the minnesota timberwolves that was uh that was the epic fail five games on the road lose all five now they're at home i, I think tomorrow they play the pacers or something but uh just a just a little rant that's all grizzlies not good right now no, they are not. And I'll tell you what else is not good. People are probably wondering why Mike is just a donkey. Yeah, you know what? Got some camera issues. Blame it on me. It's my fault, likely, here. You know what? My settings operation is about as good as the Grizzlies are playing right now. All right, now, my man, Bobby Locke. Today, college basketball, all right? Big 12, SEC, challenges across the board, dude. Talk to us, man. What do we need to know? Yeah, a lot of big games. Uh, the Big 12, arguably the best conference currently in college basketball. So it starts off at, I think, noon with Auburn and West Virginia. A lot of weird lines as well. So it just, just highlight some of them. Then after that, you got Alabama at, at Oklahoma. And then one that's kind of intriguing to me, a lot of people, this is probably the least favorite out of all these games, Texas Tech at LSU. Um, both teams have lost seven, seven in a row. I think LSU has lost eight or something like that. Something wild. One of these teams has to win. Uh, bo- both teams are just begging for a win. So that game is very intriguing to me. LSU getting two and a half to three at home. Then you have Iowa State going to Missouri. M- Missouri is a one and a half point underdog at home, which is ca- kind of crazy. One, another one that stuck out to me, TCU going to Mississippi State. Mississippi State getting two and a half at home. Mississippi State has not been that great offensively. But their defense is still there. That line makes no sense to me. And then Arkansas, Auburn, and then highlighted at the end with uh, Kansas at Kentucky, Kentucky laying three. I mean, every single game is good, even Texas Tech, LSU. I mean, the SEC Big 12 Challenge is going to be awesome. Dude, it is going to be awesome, man. And we see, you know, uh, te- Texas, Tennessee, I know that there are a lot of people here in uh, in Nashville and around that are fired up for that one. That's going to be a hell of a game, too, man. All right, look, our man Josh says, I got to put this out here real quick. It's time for a colonoscopy. Yes, dude, it is. Josh, my man, you are spot on with that one. All right, let's get into our best bets for today. And you know what? Look, Rebecca saying it right here. Vol's going to show who the real UT is today. That's gonna. I can't wait for that game, man. It's going to be a ton of fun. All right, before we get into our best bets, let's take a quick break and hear from one of our partners. There's something coming. Old friends and allies standing together again, reuniting to accomplish a shared mission. Knowing your destiny must not be denied, because this decides everything. Bengals, Chiefs, the AFC Championship, and at halftime, the world premiere for the official trailer of Star Trek Picard, streaming February 16th on Paramount+. Plus. Dude, I cannot wait for the NFL tomorrow. I am fired up. All right. Till then, though, we got some games to play. And speaking of the games that Bobby Locks was talking about, Mikey, coming over to you first, man. Uh, you got to play here on Kansas and Kentucky. Break it down what you got. Yeah, we're going to hit that uh, Big 12 SEC champion or uh, <laughs> conference showdown here. We're going <laughs> Kansas and Kentucky over 140 here. I think this line's just a little bit soft. I make the number 145 in the simulations. Looking at the Kansas side, they need a win in a big, big way. Dropped three straight where they've allowed 75, 83, and 83 points in those games. 
Kansas is a team that likes to play with a little bit more pace. I think that Kentucky will invite that a little bit in this particular matchup, given some of the individual matchups that we will see on the floor here. I also expect this game to get a little chippy at times. That's going to lead to additional free throw attempts late in the second half in this one. I think we're shooting free throws with eight minutes to go in this one personally. I see this as a 74-71 type game. Let's go over 140. There we go, man. Let's go over 140 indeed. All right. EC, my dude, the chat is just going wild, man. Waiting for your picks, bro. You know what? Who would I be to make them wait any longer? My dude, the floor is yours. All right, AB. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a four-team college basketball money line parlay today, and I'm going to explain these in one line each. We have Cornell. Cornell's 8-1 and one at home. They've won 7 of 9 overall. Brown is 3-5 and five on the road. We're going to fade them. Cornell is the first leg of the money line parlay. Then Charleston. Charleston's a ranked team. They've won 20 in a row. Their only loss is to North Carolina on the road, second game of the season. I feel like they're a great bet. So is Eastern Washington, who's won 11 in a row and is 8-0 at home. And then we're going to top this thing off later today with an A-B special. Rick Barnes against his old team at home. Tennessee's the best defensive team in the country, even though they lost to my alma mater, Arizona, as we know. But uh, I think they're going to take care of business against uh, the Chris Beardless uh, Texas Longhorns. So that's our first money line parlay, Cornell, Charleston, Eastern Washington and Tennessee at plus 213. Let us cash that. Then we're going to go back to the SEC Big 12 Challenge for an overline. It's, it was down to 141 and a half last night. It's 142 this morning. Missouri, Iowa State. Uh, I like this over, and I'll tell you why. Missouri home games this year, averaging 163 total points. I mean, that's crazy. That's way above this last 22 points above. Now, I know Iowa State, not the highest scoring team, but in 13 games at Mizzou Arena, the winning team, whether Missouri or the opponent, averaging 91 a game. The winner has scored lower than 80 one time, and that was uh, that was a couple weeks ago. I think it was against Arkansas. They scored 79. The lowest winning score is 79. I mean, all we need is 63 from there, and we hit the overline. So I feel good about this one, despite the line movement. And then we're going to go to the NFL. And I'm not going to take a stand like, like you know, the, the real handicappers. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with easy street here. I like San Francisco plus seven and a half. I like Cincinnati plus seven and a half. I like both teams to win their games. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not confident enough to play outrights. So I just think it's, I think these are one possession games, either way you look at it. And you can get this as good as minus 119. I think it's a safe play. Joe Burrow 3-0 and against Kansas City. San Francisco, I, I know Brock Purdy's a rookie. I just have a feeling about this 49er team. I think they're the best team in the league, won 12 in a row. Let's hit it. Uh, you know what? I'll say this. Uh, 49ers team's pretty good, and uh, they're one of the best coach teams in the NFL. So, yeah, I feel you on that one. Nice plays, my man, EC. All right. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's stay in the NFL. And also, EC, it's funny what you brought up in regards to that parlay. We didn't plan this at all, but I have something, just a little present for you. And it's funny how it worked out. We'll get to that in a minute. Micah, you got one play, NFL tomorrow, AFC Championship. Break us down, brother. What do you got? Yeah, uh, we got weather, uh, cold, 23 degrees, 11 mile per hour winds, going to be very chilly there. Uh, but this is more just picking on the injury of Mahomes. Not a lot of talk. There's like a 30 second uh, video that I saw. They're throwing around. They're like, oh, look at him. He's brand new. This is a high ankle sprain. This is a six week injury for just about everybody. So I'm taking him to be the not Patrick Mahomes that we've seen, you know, the last four years in the nfl the amazing stuff all i i just think he's going to be completely hobbled and then not to take anything away from the Bengals or joe burrow but what they've done has been absolutely amazing shocking me talked about the best rating in pro sports the nfl line and this team continues to beat down this number every single week they've gone 22 and 4 in their last 26 games against the number they've covered their last eight last year they're nine and one against the spread their last 10 during this 10 game win streak. This team is like on fire rolling and you don't even have to lay anything. You, so you, you're playing a quarterback that is on a roll that absolutely the best manager in the game knows how to slow the clock down, roll the clock, play like the running game, short passes. He's a master at this. He's unbelievable. And now I don't even have to lay points. I'm on the road again, but they're three and zero against the chiefs and the quarterback for the chiefs, 
is hobbled with a high ankle sprain. I, I think he's going to be kind of a sitting back. There's a prop out there. I saw with Chad Henning. Will he get one pass attempt? I think he will. I think he'll be in the game. And not, nothing again. I love Mahomes. He's amazing. But, I mean, the reality is this team, for a team that won so much, struggled against the number uh, all season. Only five covers on the season. So it's just a, a thing of what we've been seeing the last two years. Joe Burrow is here. I can't believe the rating hasn't caught up to him yet. And even with Mahomes, with the high ankle sprain, uh, the Bengals should be favored here. So I think, you know, you get the money line plus 112 at the South Point. I think that's I think that's good. So let's do that. Yeah. We're going to go Bengals money line. Yeah, for a guy who's 3-0, and you know, against said opponent there. I, I'll tell you this, man. Uh, you want a stat in regards to Patrick Mahomes and his mobility, right, outside the pocket? This is how vital that it is. Over the last five NFL postseasons, cumulative, all right, Patrick Mahomes has accounted for 41% of all touchdown passes thrown outside the pocket. Wow. 41%. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, if he's not mobile, dude, <laughs> they, I'm not saying that they're dead, but, yeah, like, they need him to be that for sure. So that's a great play there, Micah. All right. My man, Bobby Locks, dude. Bring us home, brother. You got one play, college basketball. Hit us with it, man. What you got? Yeah, one play in college basketball. Unfortunately, it's not going to be in the SEC Big 12 Challenge for the show. I'm going to target the Big 10. I'm going to go Illinois at Wisconsin. I'm going to take Wisconsin plus two. Illinois has looked better offensively. They have been rolling a little bit. But I'm really looking at Wisconsin's defense. At home, they hold opponents to less than 62 points a game. And the, w one of the biggest things for, for the fighting Illini on the road is turnovers. They're averaging like 14 turnovers a game on the road. The, the Badgers at home – eight turnovers. They protect the ball at home. They're also shooting 42% from beyond the arc. Uh, the um, Illinois is struggling 30, 32% from beyond the arc. So I think that if Matthew Mayer is pretty much your go-to guy, he's also kind of a ball hog in my opinion. If he's the one always taking the shots, I don't think Matthew Mayer could win a game against this Wisconsin defense, especially at home. So I like Wisconsin plus two as the home puppy. There we go. The home puppy indeed. I like it. All right, everybody, grab your paper. Grab your pencil. Let's take a little recap here. It does look good. M squared is on Kansas and Kentucky over 140. Michael Roberts is on the Bengals money line plus 112. Bobby Locks just broke down Wisconsin plus two. Martin W. Green from, uh, what, two days ago on the show. He's got money line parlay at Leeds and Leicester City. EC, our dude, Iowa State, Missouri over 141 and a half. Money line parlay of plus 213. Cornell. Charleston, Eastern Washington, and Tennessee. And he's also going with an NFL alternate line parlay, minus 119, 49ers plus seven and a half, and the Bengals plus seven and a half. And EC, I told you, dude, I'll, you know what? I'm returning the favor right here. The AV3 is back for today, all right? Three-leg, all-money line parlay, college basketball, payout, plus 150, Alabama money line, EC's Arizona Wildcats money line, and UCF money line. So those three, Alabama, Arizona, UCF, put those together. That pays out at plus 150. All right, boys, heck of a show today, man. Heck of a show. It's going to be a great weekend at sports. I can't wait. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And like I said, we'll be live three times on Sunday, normal time, 10 a.m. Eastern for the early edge. We live at 2 p.m. Eastern to break down all best bets for the NFC championship. And then we'll be live at 5 30 PM Eastern to break down best bets for the AFC championship. But until then, everybody, best of luck. It's cash these tickets. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.